Hey guys, welcome back to episode 2 of Crunker Map Making Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to be going over how to make ramps in Crunker which have a side and that you don't glitch up. So, as you can see in this test right here, if we walk into the side of this normal ramp which has had no changes made to it, we can we just glitch straight up and it's a bit glitchy. But if we walk into this one over here, walk into it, no problems, we can walk along it, whatever, it's fine. Uh, you can walk up it as well and it's great, wonderful, jump off, no problems there. So, how do we achieve this? So pretty much what we've done, we've got a normal ramp with a little bit of aesthetics, as, uh, which I'll show you how to do. And over here, what we've done is then we've added in these little uh, tall cubes on the side, which pretty much just uh, expand out slightly further than the ramp itself, which I can colour in right here for you. As you can see, which is right there, and that they expand slightly uh, further out than this, so when the player goes into them, they don't get teleported by the ramp, which when it detects a player touching it, will teleport it up. So how do we do this from start to finish? First, you're going to want to get your thing set up, so you just want to want a basic cube, Look, I'll even take one straight from here, just so you can get the really basic idea. You get your cube, whatever, make your shape, just get that up there. Then you're going to want to get a ramp, so we're just going to grab a ramp straight from basic, just so you guys can get a really good idea of how this works. Right, we're just going to line all these things up, just so they're fine and dandy. Great, now that these are lined up like so, we're just going to take another cube. You can just duplicate this one here, so you have the right width. And then once you've got that, Get it down like this, usually I like to take it into the floor, rotate it so that it matches the angle of your ramp, and then just make it one unit smaller than your main cubes, so that it's not got any weird glitchiness going, over, going on. Now, go down to the bottom left here, and where you can change from local to world, switch to world. Right, now that you're in world, you can see these little axis movers change, so local, like that, world, like this. Now you're just going to want to line this up to the best of your ability, and then readjust that little angle, and just get this well lined up, and then just uh, get that all sorted. As you can see, now it looks like we've got a side. This is really wonderful, but there's still this tiny little gap, so we're going to quickly just duplicate this, move it over, make it thin, as you can see here, and now we just want to get it so that it just goes over both of those, so we're going to expand it out just a little bit. Now, once I'll just grab that, make it small, once again, go to world, and just line this up as a, a little sort of trim effect, and that should look really nice. So we're just going to get this sorted, and then I'll be right back with you. Sweet. Now that we have this lined up, we can either have an overlap if you would like to like this, or you can even have it line up like that, but really it's just personal preference. Uh, you want to make sure both of these are non-collidable, so we're going to make sure we've selected this big angled guy, make sure it's non-collidable. Okay, that's great. So now we're onto the bit which means that you don't teleport through it, because right now if we walk into the side of this, we'll teleport straight up this ramp, and that is exactly what we do not want. So what I like to do is take the top piece, duplicate that, and then make it invisible over here. Now this one you want to make sure it is collidable. As you can see we've got a little green outline here which you can see me moving around. Now what you want to do is have it so that the top does not exceed this little trim because that would mean you'd bump into it when you're walking up the ramp but you also want it to expand outwards past where the ramp finishes. So we're going to make sure the ramp finishes slightly inwards in the center of this trim is usually where I like to have it and have this uh, invisible cube which we can move around here extend just one half unit past it. So now that we've done that, we can just do this and then we just make a bunch of these. I like to duplicate it over and then just shift it down so it's just below that trim. And if you can see little, uh, like teeny tiny line poking through, that's generally okay, but just for safety, I'd move it down slightly more. So just duplicate all these across and adjust them so that they're the right height. You want to have them as close to the top as you can without touching it. Wonderful. Now that we've got all of these done, this should be good and will be a great ramp which we don't glitch up. I haven't done the trim on this side because uh, yeah, I just haven't, but if you really want to, you can grab the trim, duplicate that, and then just pull it across, and now this is good from all sides. Now, let's give it a test. We've loaded into the map, you can see our original te few tests over here, you can see this working one, doesn't glitch up, we've made it red. This one, which you do glitch up, and now if we go over here, we have our new one, which we've just made, which we do not glitch up, as you can see. This bit's fine, lovely trim, and we can walk up, and it's totally fine. Anyway guys, that's how this works. Uh, come back another time. Hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you.